this is Leah with At Home Crypto, and today we just got in uh, five bundles of new motherboards. These are Z270 Pro, and they came with memory and a sixth generation CPU. Now check the uh, specifications, the compatibility um, information on the MSI site for the Z270A Pro. I feel very confident that the CPU that was bundled with this is going to work. However, I did not see the specific model number of the memory, so I'd like to test it out, see if it's actually going to work. Um, so I'm going to do just a, a minimal setup, just one GPU, um, and install it and see if we can get it working. The challenge is going to be, I don't have a monitor. Um, Alan actually took the monitor with him to go install. Um, so I'm going to see if I can use the Easy Debug LEDs, which is a feature that they have on the Z 270s here, and see if we can use that just to um, see if everything's up and running and, and looks correct. Of course, we'll still need the monitor to really get into the UEFI configurations, but at least we'll be able to know that the memory is good and that it'll work. So let's get started. You will notice I have my electrostatic bracelet on. This one's great. It actually doesn't have any dangly parts, so I, I like this one better. I recommend it. So take out the monitor. Let's try the motherboard. Oh, mine on monitors. All right, we're going to lay it carefully on electrostatic plastic here that they give you. I'm going to take off the hard case over where the CPU goes. Just a flat case here. We're going to keep it with the box in case we want to take it back or if we ever want to resell it or anything. Um, so now we're ready to put the CPU in. Let's move that little part up. Again, this is a sixth generation. It's a G39 LGA 1151. Um, and it was packaged with the motherboard, and it, it did show up on the MSI um, compatibility data sheet. So I feel pretty good that this is going to work. <coughs> our CPU. Be very careful to hold this by the edges. What we're looking for when we take it out is there's going to be one corner, it's right here, that has a gold triangle on it and that is going to line up um, with the corner on here on the motherboard that has the kind of a silver dot around it. So there's one corner that's marked out. Um, that's how you know that you have it lined up correctly. And then you just want to put it straight down so that the pins don't get bent or warped in any way. Okay, so just set that gently down. The case closes on it. Okay, and we're going to push in first kind of around the uh, screw of some kind and then bring the arm down to lock it. a brand new CPU. It's got the thermal paste already applied to it. You don't have to worry about that. I always recommend unwrapping the wire just enough so you can reach to plug in the CPU and power. And let's actually go ahead and plug it in first and then lock down your I think it helps to do the opposite corners. Gets it to settle in evenly. Alright, and that's the CPU and fan. Um, we're going to make sure that the fan can spin without getting caught up on these cords. These are actually wrapped a little bit together, so just those little bit. Uh, 
16-DRG um, before it didn't show up. But we're gonna give it a try, it'll work. Uh, for the memory, you're gonna check the motherboard specifications to figure out which DIMM spot to put it in. For the MSI, um, I think it's always DIMM A. Uh, this one is, anyways, I didn't check that all the time. So you're gonna look for your DIMM A slot, and you can find, um, in the manual, you can find a, a reference to where it is, but it's actually the second one over from the fan. pins you connect it to, I actually have it open to that page. Um, pretty consistent on that size. It's going to be your JFP1 panel, which again shows you where that is in relation to everything else. Um, and you're specifically looking for the number six and eight pins to connect this little two pin power switch to. So, JFP1. Okay, so
ship you, even though obviously I don't have the rack port and everything, I am still going to use the riser because it'll make it easier to move later. So continue the riser board. PCIe slot, um, number one is right here, and it's labeled on here. Okay. Well, now we need to power the GPU. pin connector. Top of the GPU, we still gotta uh, power the riser. So, here's a data cable here. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying some Molex and different um, riser cables soon, though. We've got power to the motherboard, power to the CPU, power to the fan, the PCI card, and the GPU. Alright, I'm so ready to uh, add power to the power supply unit. Let's make sure it's tight. Oh, there's a switch. And there's a power switch. Okay, hey, let's get signed. The fan on the CPU is coming on. So if we got lights on the GPU. 
So far, so good. Uh, that easy debug LED. focus in on this. Okay, so now I think you can see that easy debug LED. So this is what I'm going to be looking at because I do not have a monitor <laughs> to check and see if I can get to the BIOS. So I'm just kind of hoping to, to see anyways if the uh, memory is going to connect. Um, you know, in the past, uh, when we've had the, the wrong model of memory, it'll get stuck on boot which I don't see happening right now. However, this is really hard to see on the camera. Uh, actually, the, the light is on the next area, not boot, but VGA. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like the VGA light on, so it doesn't like something about my, uh, my GPU card here. Let's see, is the GPU on? Oh, it's spinning. Well, so at this point, what I would uh, probably want to do is go ahead and get my HDMI monitor and uh, plug in that HDMI cable right here to the GPU and do a little bit more debugging. But at this point, I'm at least feeling pretty confident with this memory because we did get past the boot stage. Everything's running, nothing's turned off. So I think for right now, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, with this kit, and like I said, it came with this uh, motherboard. Um, this is the Z270A Pro, and also the memory, the CPU, um, also a copy of FOS. So we are going to use this eventually with um, more cards and mine Ethereum. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the bundle so far. Like I said, we got some more of these here, so we'll be putting them together uh, over the next week or so. And uh, if there's anything that you have questions about, or would like us to address in our videos, please feel free to leave a comment. We like making content that you find valuable, so reach out to us. And uh, that's it. I'm Leo with At Home Crypto. Thanks for watching.